I can't believe I even have to tell this story. This is unreal. So, like I said earlier, hey, did you know, hey, everybody, did you know that Roger Waters is 80 <clears throat> years old and still Tory and still a fucking rock star? Wrecking shop out here. Love that dude. So, what's happening to mm -hmm. Roger Waters? Just like a lot of people who are questioning Israel and challenging State Department narratives. Censorship campaign against him intensifies on his Latin American tour. How? <laughs> well, this one's unreal. So we know that this is, this is not a drill. A lot of people have uh, in this audience actually have been to see this show like Colin, or, you know, INN's Colin. And I know Misty went to a couple of them and she even set, a t uh, set up a table at the one in Forgot to Cincinnati. Put that on the yep. soundboard. What's that? Colin, are you there? Um, yeah. But following seven concerts in Brazil at the end of October and beginning of November, several hotels in Uruguay, Argentina, and Colombia Cancelled reservations made for him and his band. Why? Yeah. Well, he claims this is the Israeli lobby throwing its weight around. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh-huh. In Which Uruguay, you, Javier Millier is definite friends with them mm -hmm. over in Argentina. Um, well, we'll start in Uruguay. The campaign so. against Waters was led by the Israeli <clears throat> Central Committee of Uruguay and the Jewish NGO B'nai B'rith. And if you read One Nation Under Blackmail by Whitney Webb, you'll learn about the salacious beginnings of B'nai B'rith. We actually read a half of a chapter, a half of something two years ago on the show. It's like the last time we actually read Whitney because she just goes so deep. I was almost, I was almost going to read the Binance article today. Oh, yeah. But yeah, she, she goes, no one cares about that. No, she goes long. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not that people no one cares, do. it's that it, it takes a long time to get there. And there's so few yeah. people at this point that are invested in the whole crypto world mm -hmm. that I just, I, I don't know. It's not where my head is. And I know Whitney, the way it works with Whitney is you'll go six months back, six months from now, be like, oh, that's why she was talking about this. That's usually how I find Whitney right. working. So, yeah. But, uh, we know that B'nai B'rith, in an, in an email to the Sofitel Montevideo Hotel, their representatives wrote that Roger Waters is a misogynist, xenophobe, and anti-Semite <laughs> who takes advantage yeah. of his fame as an artist to lie and spew his hatred against Israel and all Jews, which is not true. Sure. In clear yeah. intimidation, they added that if the hotel were to host Waters, it would be even if it doesn't want to, a propagator of the hatred that this man exudes and will be contributing to the rise of Jewophobia. I did. Coming soon to Broadway near you. Jewophobia. What? Wow. <laughs> Jewophobia. Yeah. But well, you can't say anti Semitism about Palestinians, which is what Roger is going to claim here that in Argentina and Chile, where the singer performed last over the weekend, this was again last week, Jewish organizations brought lawsuits in an attempt to prevent him from performing like they tried to in Germany. Both requests were denied by yep. the courts, rightly so. The delegation of Argentine Israeli associations based its legal request on Waters alleged, quote, anti-Semitic expressions and messages during his performance in Uruguay and his, quote, discrimination, advocacy of crime and incitement to collective violence, of which he does none of those things. Um, the cancellation of hotel reservations and the legal actions against Waters in Latin America are a clear effort to silence an artist known worldwide for his denunciations of the resurgence of fascism in the world, the imperialist war by the U.S. and the European powers against Russia in Ukraine and his long-standing denunciations of Israel's crimes against the Palestinians. I mean, I, I love how it's never... It's never any other group. You know what I mean? Like, the, I'm sure Argentini, uh, Argentina has brought artists such as, I don't know, R. Kelly... You know, or 
Oh, no. Like, I don't know. Pick, pick, pick a couple. You know what I mean? Oliver we Anthony, is he not a, f- a fudge round enjoyer to Sism? Yep. So, Jewophobia, um, because, so, accusations of anti Semitism against Waters have been the main element of the censorship campaign against him. At one of his concerts in Buenos Aires, he said that his claim is, quote, based on malicious lies that have been told about me, and he further stated that, I know, the reason that they won't let me stay in hotels in Buenos Aires is because I believe in human rights. I do. I always have. And he does. He's actually speaking out for the people who are disenfranchised, who are being bombed, who are being murdered on a regular basis. Despite this effort, Waters' concerts, by the way, in Latin America, like his previous ones in U.S. and Europe, have attracted tens of thousands of people at the concert in Sao Paulo. On November 11th, Waters sank to over 40,000 with messages on the big screen of Stop the Genocide and presenting several U.S. presidents, including Joe Biden, as war criminals. In an interview I, with TD Brasil on October 25th, suffering. on October 25th on TV Brasil, Roger had declared his resolute opposition to the oppression of the Palestinian people, saying emotionally, it's extremely important to resist and say no more genocide. I'm almost crying here. My heart isn't here in Brasilia. It's mm-hmm. there. There is no way to accept what the Israeli government is doing with the permission of the U.S., the U.K., France, and most of Europe, but not the people. The demonstrations in the streets have been enormous. Again, zero lies detected here from the 80-year-old Roger, legend, speaking out for the, for the, the silenced. The efforts to silence the artist come amid the ethnic cleansing operation by the Israeli army, which, after expelling more than a million Palestinians from the north of the Gaza Strip, is preparing to take its offensive to the south and push them, by the way, I'm adding, into the Sinai. The Biden administration, Mm -hmm. which is Israel's closest supporter, I would say that the UK is right there with them, has insisted that there is no quote-unquote red line for its genocidal offensive. There is nothing Israel can do that will actually cause the U.S. and U.K. to right. tell them to stop. If it if it murdered a child on in the middle of the street, and everyone was around to see it, you know, well, it basically did on on street. Yeah, yeah, yes, I know. I These know. repressive acts are part of an acceleration of preparations to violently suppress all domestic political opposition. The positions defended at the concerts of the artist and co-founder of Pink Floyd express opposition to the genocide in Gaza by millions of workers and young people who link the brutal conditions faced by Palestinians with the injustices experienced in their own countries. Because the U.S. and NATO has inflicted that. This is why pro-Israeli organizations are acting to ban Waters concerts with the support of capitalist governments around the world. But not the people. How are they still selling out the 40,000 people? They're all just, they're all anti-Semites? No, that's not what's happening here. It's not. Right? Waters' Latin American tour came amid growing geostrategic, geostrategic tensions in the region. U.S. imperialism seized domination of Latin America, which has forged growing economic relations with China at the expense of the U.S., as indispensable to its global drive to war. Earlier this month, yeah, because we want to steal their resources and we want to keep them from providing those resources to China, like soybeans, for example. Remember, well, thanks thanks to Trump and his tariffs, China started buying soybeans from Brazil and they used to pretty much exclusively buy them from us and they, and he destroyed the soybean trade in this country. Yep. Um, Early this month, this was expressed in diplomatic provocation staged by Israeli government with the full support of the Biden administration against the government of, uh, of Brazilian President Lula, which we know with the aim of pressuring Brazil to align itself with the war against Gaza and the U.S. war preparations against Iran. Also, trying to get them in line on Ukraine, and Lula has slowly bent the knee over time. Mm-hmm. Despite the criticism of Israel's war on Gaza by nominally left-wing presidents in Latin America, including Colombia's 
Gustavo Petro, Chile's Gabriel Boric, and Lula himself, they have played a politically criminal role in covering up for the Biden administration, particularly its unrestricted support for Israel. Who better to hold Biden accountable than the people that he's propped up over time? If he's, they're not going to challenge him on this, on genocide, we know what's, what's going on. Significantly, none of them has spoken out against the censorship campaign against Roger Waters in Latin America, but we all know who they serve too. In Brazil, this had already been anticipated by the Lula government's response at the end of May. Now, they did not ban, by the way, him from his hotel rooms. That's the one country he was actually staying in Brazil and flying via, via helicopter into those other countries to perform for that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which real is a whole other, money. Which is a whole other customs headache, by the way. Right? Of course... It had already been anticipated by the Lula's, Lula government's response at the end of May. They had a petition to prevent him from entering Brazil, which was signed by a representative of the Israeli Confederation of Brazil. Notice they have offices set. Israel has offices set up in every country Everywhere. around the world to ensure yep. that their narrative is followed. It's really fucked up. Lula's justice manager, mm -hmm. Flavio Dino, reportedly assured a member of the Supreme Court that Waters would be arrested if he, quote, wears a Nazi uniform at a concert in Brazil. Waters has used this character in his performances over the last four decades to denounce fascism, but it has been deliberately misrepresented, yep. even as ruling class circles themselves turn toward fascism in response to the growing opposition in the working class. I think they don't want him letting their even secret out. Watch the wall. They don't want him letting their secret out. This is what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Since this episode, representatives of the Lula government's justice ministry have held several meetings with the members of the organization, which has been carrying out a sordid campaign to equate anti-Zionism with anti-Semitism. Wow, they might as well be lobbying U.S. Congress and silence opposition to the Palestinian genocide. Last week... CONIB obtained an injunction ordering the deletion of several social media posts made by Breno Altman, himself a journalist of Jewish background who's a member of the PT and a critic of Israel's actions on Gaza. Because they don't have free speech laws. Right. Self-hating Jew. <laughs> or just like me. Mm -hmm. All Latin American governments work under the fundamental premise of defending capitalist interests and big corporations in the region and will work with all necessary methods to prevent the demonstrations of millions in, against the war in Gaza from taking organized form in the Latin American working class. Imagine a million people on the streets of Sao Paulo protesting what would, what would be happening here. That's Lula's nightmare. That crashed. Yeah. What the entire Latin American ruling elite yeah. fears <clears throat> is that the growing protests against the genocide in Gaza will fuel a broad radicalization of the working class um, and youth. Many Latin American countries are home to large Arab Palestinian communities who, along with the masses of workers and young people, have watched with horror Israel's criminal bombardment of hospitals and refugee camps in Gaza. The censorship of pro-Palestinian views and demonstrations in Latin America is also critical for imperialist governments as they confront massive protests in the advanced capitalist countries and fear that the taking to the streets of millions worldwide will develop into a unified struggle internationally. This is precisely what needs to happen yeah. as part of, a, of building an anti-war movement led by the working class.